sincerely engage in the issue, and I can tell you that I believe all my colleagues are doing so. And I have considered carefully all the points of view and have had a chance to hear from many of you, both in public forums and private dialogues. I believe that this proposal is a common sense and balanced ordinance to regulate competing uses on public sidewalks. And I thought it was important to hear from my friends and sisters about the efforts that, frankly, they are making voluntarily in front of their own space to try to bring some order to competing uses. And I take that to be a sincere effort to regulate competing uses done by people with the best of intentions. And I believe this is a sincere effort to regulate competing uses done with the best of intentions. Uh, and the fact that Commissioner Fritz uh, and the mayor have taken the lead on this gives me additional confidence that the intention uh, is just. Now, I'm a housing commissioner for the city of Portland, so for me, I have a particular concern about some of the arguments that have been raised. <clears throat> and since they have been raised, and the question is why are we talking about homelessness and housing, we're talking about it because some of the arguments that have been raised against this address those issues. And so I would say it would be disrespectful not to engage those issues since they have been used as primary rationale to ask us to vote against them. So, there has been a lot of discussion about the First Amendment impact of this ordinance. And I don't think there's anyone on this council that has staked out a firmer claim on the First Amendment and its implications in public spaces than Commissioner Randy Leonard. And the concerns that he has raised and have been brought before us have, I think, been incorporated into this ordinance to make it stronger. An issue has been raised about this particular ordinance targeting one class of people. I would not be a party to any ordinance which targets any group, including homes. I spent over 20 years as a civil rights lawyer and most of my adult life as a housing activist. And I would never be a party to anything which I thought intentionally or de facto targeted any group. Some have referred to this as sit by too. Well, I was actually in the courtroom when the judge threw out Sidlai, laid out his rationale, and gave a sort of a treatise on the applicable law. And as I said to a number of people coming out of that meeting, I would not support any son of Sidlai. Sidlai, sunset. This is not Sidlai 2, 3, 4, or 5. To call it Sidlai is to, I think, try to shift the focus away from what this does explicitly and what it's intended to do. I understand the argument behind that, but I disagree with the characterization that this is not the son of sit line. One issue that is of great concern to me is the idea that has been advanced by many of you that the enforcement of this would criminalize homelessness. How could I, as the point person for the city dedicated to ending homelessness, be a party to criminalizing homelessness? I have spent most of my adult life looking for creative ways to end homelessness. I do not believe this is about homelessness one way or another. We'll come to that in a moment. But I would hope if people listen very carefully to the Assistant District Attorney, to our council and read this fairly, that not only is no intent to criminalize homelessness, but there is no way that this could be construed or enforced in a way to criminalize homelessness. And to those who have said, and many of my friends have said this, we would prefer that you use the club of a criminal statute to regulate your sidewalks. I say that is turning logic on its head. And to tell me that the only way we can we can regulate uses on a sidewalk is to use a criminal statute is tantamount to saying the only way we can regulate free, mo free flow of traffic on the highway is to use a criminal statute. And I do not understand the logic of that argument. To those who have said that this impacts on camping, Many of you know I've taken the lead on camping in the city and I've taken out a position which has frankly not won me a lot of friends and admirers in any community because I believe we have to get to the root causes of camping and I'm deeply troubled by the current laws that we're applying. But that said, this particular ordinance covers the period between seven and nine and therefore whatever our views, if any views that we have in this room on camping, the enforcement of this ordinance does not, does not 
uh, spill over and cover the hours when people would normally be sleeping. Now, because this issue has come up time and time again about the root causes that bring us to the cause of, of ending homelessness and addressing affordable housing, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that that I I share the sense of urgency that everyone here has expressed about ending homelessness, about providing affordable housing for families and uh, low-income people in our community, and for ending the injustice of too many people that have no safe and decent place to call home. That's why we have an ambitious task in our, with our federal delegation to substantially increase funding. That's why I believe the Housing Trust Fund Congressman Barney Frank established needs to be funded. That's why I believe we need a HOPE 6 grant to revitalize existing housing. That's why I'm fighting for more Section 8 vouchers. That's why I'm trying to end discrimination that applies to Section 8 voucher holders. That's why I'm going to fight like hell over the next couple of years to get a dedicated, new dedicated source of funding for housing. And that's why I and my colleagues have been working with the mayor to maintain adequate levels of funding for housing during a down economy where there are many other competing claims on our dollars. But this being the second year when we have to make some tough trade trade-offs, and I am ever optimistic that when the mayor makes this announcement tomorrow at 10 o'clock on the budget, that once again he has the <coughs> courage to put housing at the forefront of our funding priorities at a time when we're forced to cut other programs. So I, I concur with all my friends here about the root causes homelessness, the unhoused, and the great inequities in our, in our society uh, that have led so many people to be put into a precarious situation. <coughs> but respectfully, I think that we as a city have not only the right, but the duty to come up with common sense rules for regulating our sidewalks as long as they're <coughs> constitutional. And while I will not be the one to pass on that question, I'm satisfied that this is constitutional. If someone wants to challenge it in court, as with uh, prior efforts, I will live with whatever ruling the court makes. And um, so on the matter before us, I've given great thought to this, and I've had a chance to hear many voices. And I, um, I have concluded that, uh, that it fairly and constitutionally addresses something which is the city's duty, in my opinion, to address competing uses on the sidewalk, and therefore I vote on it.